How's it going guys? My name is TJP or Trevor, whatever you want to call me, and today we are here with another my WNBA rebuild, and we're gonna be rebuilding the Minnesota Lynx to their next team in our sequence. So if you guys are enjoying these kind of videos, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, comment down below some more future rebuilding ideas, as well as checking out the description in the playlist, which has a playlist of my WNBA, my NBA rebuilds, and then my Twitch, Twitter, Discord. Follow and join. With that being said, let's get on to the gameplay. So I've been joining these WWE. All right, here we go. We're taking a look at the Minnesota Lynx. Now, they actually have a very interesting team because they actually have a really good team. Like, really, really good. We have Maya Moore, uh, Sylvia Fow Foles, or Fowles, I think it's Fowles, N N Nafisha Col Collier, uh, Odyssey Sims, Demiris Dantas, Crystal Dangerfield, right? Like, you guys can read these people, but, like, the team actually looks kind of good. Like, low-key, we have a really good squad. Um, are there any moves that we want to make? Yes. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 small forwards. So, what I'm going to do is flip some of these small forwards. Just because we have a lot of small forwards. Maybe get some guards back. Maybe get a power forward or a center back. Um, I'm going to keep these two. And then one of these four I'm just going to flip. So let's see if I can make a couple of minor moves. Alright. So we're going to do this deal. Point guard and a power forward from the Indiana Fever. Jantel Lavender and Kathleen Doyle for uh, Bridget Carlton and Micaiah Herbert Harrigan. Uh, very interesting name there. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do that deal just because, like I said, we have so many small forwards. So uh, I'm going to do one more trade. Right, I'm going to do this deal with the Aces. We're going to give up a second round pick in 2025. Not going to even get to that point. We, we're going to get the Aces 2022 second round pick and Caroline Swords. A little center for us. And uh, yeah, perfect. I mean, that's pretty much what we're going to do. I mean, like the team's looking kind of nice. Um, you know, we don't really have a great shooting guard but honestly off the bench we the team is very very good like i actually think we could win the championship this year and it's highly possible that we do um but let me just double check uh everything that we're gonna be running we could, we're gonna be running a we could run a balanced or a grit and grind or a triangle we could do that as well i think i'm gonna go with a balanced i think that's just the best way to do it so i'm gonna see you guys at the trade deadline show you guys the stats but i'm not gonna make any moves I just want to show you guys the stats. All right, I'm going to show you guys the stats really quickly. We're 19 and 8. We're doing really well. I don't even remember if I show you guys the stats in that WNBA, but I'm going to show you them now. Maya Moore is fantastic, and so is uh, Sylvia Fowles. So I have to re-sign Maya Moore, though. Uh, but uh, also Odyssey Sims having a good year season, and also Krister Dangerfield is having a good season. Um, I might look to maybe move one of these players in the offseason just because um, what I want to do is uh be able to sign some free agents maybe not even this year but like next year uh but yeah we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna make some good moves so let's let's uh let's uh continue to sim season's going well so far and i'll see you guys at the end of the year all right so asia wilson was the most valuable player uh and also the rookie of the year and six one of the year goes to maisha hines allen elena della don was the defensive player of the year that's good to see i guess from her uh mercedes russell was the most approved player Mike Tabalt, uh, coach of the year, and then J.R. Erickson, our executive of the year, since we were the number two seed. Uh, These are all NBA, all WNBA first team. I don't see any uh, Minnesota Lynx on here, but on the all defensive, okay, all all WNBA second team, no, but all defensive though. We have Sylvia Fowles, 13, 12 over a block a game nearly a steal a game uh very good very good efficiency as well from the field 55 well decent efficiency actually not really never mind <laughs> but she actually averaged 20 damn that's pretty good she's actually pretty good okay so that's good to see from her um and then all all defense second team maya moore who had 16.4 points yeah okay she had 16 4 and 3 just about two steals a game uh, also very efficient as well, so that's good to see from her. Um, wow, how many of the, basically, almost the entire aces, a lot of aces are on here, geez. Um, uh, no rookies. 
Uh, but we are getting a... Uh, we are the three seed, actually, not the second seed. I apologize. But um, uh, we should be pretty good. So the, 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 we do play a one-game winner against whoever wins against uh, Indiana and Seattle. I was taking a look at the coaching game plan, everything like that. And also the stats. I want to show you guys those. So here they are. Uh, right here. Uh, if you guys want to take a look at these uh, stats... I'm not really going to go through each player individually, but if you guys want to look at them, obviously my top five, you know, great stuff from them. So uh, I'm going to simulate to our matchup. We're taking on the Fever. Can we beat them? We do. So we're taking on the Las Vegas Aces, who actually weren't the number one seed. It was the uh, Mystics, uh, I think, of DC. Is that what they're called? Yes. So we're taking on the Aces. They could beat us. Uh, they have a very good team. Game one. All right, we beat them. Game two. All right, we're up 2-0. Can we go 3-0 and sweep? We do. We are in the WNBA Finals. Isn't that crazy? We're taking on the Mystics in the WNBA Finals. Game one against the Mystics. Let's see. All right, they're up 1-0 on us. All right, it's tied 1-1. Can we go up 2-1? Yes, we do. All right, Sim Simcast. Just going to go for it. All right, they're up. Oh, they're beating us by a lot. Yeah, we're getting blown out. All right, we got blown out. Decisive game five here. Will we win against the Mystics? Won the first quarter. Won the second quarter. Um, they won the third quarter. It's close. I think we won the... Yep. <laughs> like, the WNBA is so much easier. It's not even funny how easy it is in the WNBA. I mean, we already won in our first season, so yippee yippee kaye yippee ki -yo. Uh Whenever I need a break from the NBA, I just come to the WNBA and win the finals. Like, it's... I don't... It's just great. It's fantastic. I love it. Well, I'm gonna just resign everybody, and we're gonna try to make a god squad team. I wanna see if we can go undefeated in the WNBA. That is the thing. That's the next thing that we need to do. Maya Moore was the uh, WNBA Finals MVP. So we're going to have to re-sign her. I'll see you guys in the offseason. All right. So we had someone on the team option. We accepted her. Lizzie something. Uh, Lexi Brown. That was her name, I think. Uh, Maya Moore. Um, we're going to re-sign her. I'll give her all the money she wants and a player option and no trade clause. There we go. We're the number one option. Let's just get her back. Can we also get Liz Cambridge? That'd be kind of cool if we could. It'd actually be really cool if we could get both of them. Or Candace Parker. Like, I would take Candace Parker as well. Like, low-key. Can we get both? Okay. <laughs> it's just so easy. Dude, it's so easy in the WNBA. It really is. Like, and we still have Cap, I think. No, we don't. Actually, we may not be able to afford both of them now I think about it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Dude, it's too easy. This is too easy, dude. Dude. Like. I mean. Alright. The team is the team is too good. Alright, well, let me get a shooting guard. Let me get a uh let me get some centers. I'll fill out the roster. I'll see you guys at the start of next season. Okay, I forgot. So the draft. I need to see something. So in terms of picks, what if I flip all these? What can I get? Because I don't really care about drafting people in this game. So I'll take Marina Mabry. Cool with that. I'll just trade all my picks this year for Marina Mabry. Just add another player that can contribute right now. I'm cool with that. Uh, so I'll see you guys in, at the start of the season now. All right. So we've got a, a Odyssey Sims, Marina Mabry, who we traded for. We are starting shooting guards. Maya Moore, Natasha Howard, and then Sylvia Fowles. Candace Parker's coming off the bench as a 90 overall, ladies and gentlemen. Like, Nafisha Collier, Collier Crystal Dangerfield, uh, Imani McGee Stafford, backup center. Um, and then Lexi Brown. I mean, the team is just looking, looking fire, looking absolutely fire. Like, I don't know. Like, the team is just so good. Like, the team is just super duper good. Um, 
we're just gonna simulate to the trade deadline. I'm gonna show you guys the stats. I imagine we'll repeat, assuming we don't get screwed over. So I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. All right, we're at the trade deadline, 21 and six. We're doing really well. We're doing really well again. Um, there are your stats right here. Maya Moore is having a good season. Uh, Crystal Dangerfield doing her thing. Fisha Collier doing her thing. Uh, Odyssey Sims doing her thing. I mean, honestly, like I'm happy with the team for the most part. Unfortunately, Marina Mabry's hurt for the rest of the year. So that's a bit of a blow to the team. But I mean, other than that, we're looking pretty good. I'm not gonna make any moves. Uh, we're just gonna wait till free agency and sign more people there because it's a cheat code. All right, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I'm gonna show you stats. All right, Brianna Stewart, most valuable player. Asia Hawkins was the rookie of the year. Candace Parker, sixth woman of the year. Natasha Howard was the defense player of the year. Most improved it goes to Arike Ogunbale. Holy cow, she had a friggin' season, did she not? Wow. 25 a game. Jeez. 25. Really, that's all she does, though. And she's a shooting guard. Okay, I thought she was a point guard. She had a really good efficiency season as well. Cheryl Reeve was our coach, coach of the year. And J.R. Erickson, our executive of the year. Uh, all WA first team. Um, I don't know if we'll even see any links on here. Uh, defensive team, we see all um, Natasha Howard. That's nice to see. Had a good season. Seven points, seven re uh, six rebounds. Average over a steal and a block a game. So that's great to see from her. Um, and also, Nafisha Collier um, did her thing as well. Averaging 11, 4, 2.5, 1.4 steals and more than half a block a game. It's very pretty efficient as well, I guess, for the most part from three. Um, but... We were the number one seed, as you can see there. Uh, let's take a look at the stats really quickly uh, for the entire team. You guys can look at them here. Take a look at them. I mean, Moore had a great season. I mean, four women, nearly five women averaging double figures. That's fantastic to see. Um, I'm excited to see what else we can do with this team. Uh, but we're just going to simulate uh, to our round after I fix up these rotations. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, simulate. We are taking on the Las Vegas Aces in the WNBA semifinals. That's what they call it. So game one, we beat the Aces. Can we beat them in game two? We do. Can we beat them in game three? Okay, they beat us. All right, we're going to game five. Winner takes on the Mystics. Uh, what's going on here? Give more minutes to Candace Parker. Sure, absolutely. Because my coach is lazy. I will do that. All right, let's simulate with SimCast. Let's see what's going on here. All right. All right. The Aces are winning. Uh, the Aces almost won, but we beat them in five. All right, we're taking on the DC Mystics, Washington Mystics. All right, game one. We're up 1-0. Can we go up 2-0? Sweep them. Back-to-back -back WNBA champions. Let's three-peat. We're going to try to three-peat. That is our goal is to three-peat. Let's three-peat. Maya Moore, finals MVP. We are going for the three-peat, ladies and gentlemen. We are at free agency, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I have any bird rights on people. Oh, I do. I actually have a lot of free agents as well. Um, but that is not important. What is important is the fact that I need to sign just for cheat codes. I think we can get Asia Wilson. Although, doesn't look like she's going to come to our team. But Brianna Stewart, however, we could get her. We could get Courtney Vandersloot as well. But I think I'm just going to get Brianna Stewart. And then bring back the rest of the squad on these bird rights. If I can. I don't know if I even can. Alright. Bird rights. I can go over the cap. Are you serious? Are they not going to let me go over the cap? Hopefully they let me go over the cap. Dude, how is she not interested in that? Oh, I didn't want to do a team option. What the frig? Player option. 
No trade clause. Really? You decline that? Really? You are a piece of shit. Nah, come on now. Come on now. I can't afford her? Are you serious? So I can go over the... Bruh, what is this? Dude, I'm eating cheese. It says I can go over the limit to sign these people. I don't know why I can't. So, am I just not gonna get her? I guess I can't get her. Lexi Brown. I can't sign Lexi Brown. Alright. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, so I don't have a point guard. Is that what you're telling me? I don't have a point guard? Alexis Jones. Okay. Um... I mean, I'll sign her. Tsk, tsk. Is there any other people I could sign? Like, can I sign a center? No, I'm out. I'm over the hard cap. Hard cap is very easy to hit in, in in WNBA though, but it is what it is. I mean, honestly, I got Brianna Stewart. I could always make trades. I have a surplus of power forwards and players, and I might just do that and just see what I can get. Um, but the team is still looking ridiculously good. Like, when you sign a player, like, of Brianna Stewart's caliber, it's pretty impressive. So, um, in terms of the NBA draft, WNBA draft, I'm gonna see if I can make some moves. So, let me make some moves. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a center. AZ Mag Mag Beggar. We're gonna get a center. We need a center. So, I'll do that deal. Alright, I'm gonna do this deal with the Dream. Mate Cazorla. We're gonna get her. Might as well. Might as well. This deal gets me a point guard, and I do need a point guard. Uh, so, Candace Parker, unfortunately, I have to f trade you for a point guard. So, Kennedy Carter, or Chennedy Carter, and also we get a pick, which is nice. Um, I'm just going to keep making trades. I'm just going to do this deal. We're just going to keep trading picks, and I'm going to keep getting players. Asia Durr and Kylie Shook. And I'm going to add an exception. There you go. I'm just gonna do this deal. You know, what? screw it. We're just gonna keep doing this deal. We're gonna keep flipping players. I have four point guards now, so I'm gonna just trade all these picks, get us another second round pick, and I'm gonna get a power forward, Megan, on the squad. I'm uh, just looking again at the roster. So now we have four shooting guards. We have four power forwards, two centers. I maybe I'll look to make one more move, but I think honestly, like I think I'll just rock with this team the way it is. Um, maybe I'll flip one of these shooting guards, uh, maybe Marina Mabry, just because she got hurt. Um, so yeah, let me see what I can do here. Hold on one minute. I decided not to make a trade, so we're honestly, honestly, we're just going to rock with the team the way it is. We're going to try to three-peat. Um, I'm just going to simulate the season, and I'm going to show you guys the, the halfway point. There's really no point in doing that, so... Um, honestly, the team is really, really good. looks really, really good. Um, once again... That is what we're going with. Trinity Carter, Mate Cazorla, Nafisha Collier, Brianna Stewart, uh, Imani, McGee, Stafford. And off the bench, you got Ma Maya Moore is coming off the bench. Like, why? I don't understand that. Natasha Howard. Like, the bench is... The bench itself is an incredible starting lineup. So, uh, on most teams. And I mean, quite frankly, like... Yeah, we're, we're just too... I think we're just too good. But we'll see. I don't I don't think we're going to go undefeated, but I think we're going to win a lot of games. So I'm going to simulate the season, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. All right, Asia Wilson was the most valuable player. Rookie of the year goes to Grace Neely. Misha Hines Allen, sixth woman of the year. Joining Canada, defense player of the year, most improved player was the D Sosa. And then Jackie Welch was the coach of the year. And executive goes to Joey Jenkins. Now, we were not the number one seed. I feel like we kind of underperformed a little bit, but here are all WNBA teams. I don't see any Minnesota Lynx, but all over here, all defensive first team. Once again, Natasha Howard uh, doing her thing. Had a nice year, as you guys can see there. Um, and also, Nafisha Collier making it as well. She had a good year as well. 11, off, 11, uh, 11 points, 4 rebounds, 2.5 assists. Basically, or 2 assists. We'll just go with that. And then, there's your defense right there. That's what you're getting with her. She also shot really efficiently as well, so she's a really good player. And then, uh, yeah, we were the number three seed, so that's not nothing too shabby. I um, thought we might be a little bit better, but here are your stats. Uh, five five women averaging double figures. That's great to see. Brown Stewart leading the way. Uh, and then Maya Moore coming off the bench, which is incredible. Like, 
And here's the best part. They don't get pissed. I mean, some people get pissed, but uh, but it is what it is. I can't really do much about that, and I don't really care. So uh, we're just going to rock with whatever coach wants to do. Coach wants to do that. There you go. Uh, we're just going to assume that the round. We're taking on DC. It's a win, it's win or die, though. It's win or die. Okay, we won. So now we're taking on the Aces. Uh, this is an interesting matchup over here. One versus eight seed. We're taking on the Aces. They they might they have a solid team. And they win game one by three points. And they won game two. So we're down 2-0. We have to give more minutes to people. So let's, let's do that then. There we go. All right. Can we come back down from a 2-0 lead against the Aces? Let's see. I'm trying to go for that three-peat. I don't know. But it might be hard to... It just might not be possible. And it's not going to happen. So, we didn't win. We got swept. <coughs> the Liberty won the NBA, WNBA Finals. But I still consider this a success. Sabrina Ionescu was your WNBA Finals MVP. Uh, I consider this rebuild a success. Since we back-to-back -back champions... Uh, but we couldn't get the treat, the repeat done. It is what it is. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm happy with the team. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this rebuild. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment down below some more future rebuilding ideas. As well as checking out the description. I have a playlist there with my NBA and my WNBA rebuilds. As well as my Twitch, Twitter, Discord. If you're not following those and you haven't joined those yet, make sure to do so. Uh, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Take care. Peace.